You guys know me, always excited to do another session of My Hero Academia. This one's interesting though, because we are on episode 17 right now, season 5. This one's called The Hellish Todoroki Family. That's how you know it's going to be a crazy episode. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with My Hero Academia, season 5, episodes 17 and 18. Like I said, this one's called The Hellish Todoroki Family. Last episode, or should I say the last couple episodes, have been really focused on the work studies. The first one was all about Deku, um, Bakugo, and Todoroki being trained by Endeavor. More about uh, expanding the world and the Liberation Army and Hawks and everyone who might be involved with that. It's getting real interesting with that. And then I did learn afterwards, thanks to the comments and some information, that the other episode, episode 16, Long Time No See Selkie, was an anime original episode, I believe. So it wasn't in the manga, and it was to help promote the movie, which makes so much more sense with the whole trigger, with the whole Selkie and going to the blue guy at the end, which I believe that is related to the third movie, the new one, World's Heroes Mission, or World's Hero, the Three Musketeers one with Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki. And I'm that's the one I'm most excited to see. So I definitely plan on watching all the movies. I'm very excited. But I also got to know what's happening with the rest of these work studies, what's happening with the next arc, My Villain Academy, everything. So I say we got to find out what happens. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below, like always, for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this uh my hero academia season 5 episodes 17 and 18 this one is called the hellish todoroki family let's do this all right here we go starting this episode one week passed it's already been a week okay times are going times are flowing oh looks like that man is going to rob that briefcase from that gentleman Sir, watch out! Your briefcase! They heard that, they're on the spot immediately. And I love no hesitation because their number one goal is to stop a hero before Endeavor can get there. I didn't even see Endeavor for a second. All I saw was a fire explosion and then boom, Endeavor's there. <laughs> I know. Little by little, step by step, brick by brick. I want to see her quirk so bad ever since I've seen her crazy hair a few episodes ago, you know? He's going back to his study. Oh, Fuyumi, right? This is called the Hellish Todoroki family. I think... Of his children, Fuyumi is the most accepting of Endeavor so far. At least in terms of building a relationship, you know? Is this what we're doing? We're having a little family dinner? That's a real one. Thinks about it every night. Always eats at him, you know? He's been having that dream. Hmm, that isn't a, a good dream to have, you know? Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that he's not at that table. He knows the reason so well that it hurts. Oh. Endeavor's character development has turned really well. Like, it's kind of weird to say, but I thoroughly enjoy Endeavor. He's one of my favorite characters in the show because of that development. I'm more of a fan. I think it's a lot harder in media and anime to redeem the darker, more, like, deep-ended characters. Like, in my opinion, it gets it's a little less, like, in terms of domestic, but, like, with Vegeta. Vegeta was the first character for me that was super dark, super evil, that, you know, has a change of heart. And then you start to get like Zuko, and then you start to get like Endeavor, and you get other people who have these great care. Oh, it's such good character development, and oh, it's so natural when he realizes, and he's so full of regret and the mistakes that he made. Oh, it's just so good. I don't know, and it's not easy thing to fix. Like it's gonna take so much time and so much work for. Her. This is our first time ever seeing this perspective of when he actually hit her. 
We always saw it from Todoroki's perspective, and he, oh my god. I still remember at the end of season two, when Todoroki went to go see his mom, I thought that was one of the coolest things in the show. They're talking about it right now. Oh, this is before the injury in season four. This is when he's just now finding out about it. This is when he's... Mmm, okay. That's all Fu Yumi wants, too, you can tell. Being one of the older sisters, she just wants everyone to be happy. She's one of those medians who tries to compromise all the time. Time is the biggest thing when it comes to healing these wounds, you know, but it takes a lot of it. So as a father, I want to see how things go from here. That was, I was so happy to hear him say that because at least he's being open-minded, you know. And because of what he went through with Deku, he knows how much something small can change a person. He is reflected and in so much self-introspection. It's so important. I feel like we should all do some more meditation and self-introspection sometimes. I'm not, I'm not sure if I noticed that during season 4 when they're getting their provisionals after, but you know, he's thinking of Todoroki during that. It's a great moment. Full lodging facilities. They can live there. I didn't know that. That's dope. Wake up. Get work done. That'd be a cool job to have, honestly. I would not mind being a sidekick at all to Endeavor. Now, if they don't show me her quirk, I'm going to be upset. I want you guys to know that. I want to know her quirk so bad. She has green fire hair. What is she noticing how much work and wear and tear has gone into their outfits? Hmm, they got that fire. They're lit. No hesitation. On patrol immediately. What is that? Burning building? Burning street? Shouts out Endeavor. Doing the day-to-day -day activities of a number one hero. The reaction time, the observations, the analysis. Maintain. Oh, that is a bar. I don't want to pause it, but I love that, especially because of how much we talk about going further, progressing, surpassing your limits, maintaining the status quo, just being content with how things are is akin to going backwards. Heroes are always going forward. That's a bar right there. I want Aaron to say that. Attack on Titan. Okay, Endeavor. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna do it? He has to do it for her. Okay, we're doing it. We're here. I won't lie. The Todoroki family estate, I don't know what you'd call this, but this super Japanese style house is amazing. And Todoroki has a hot sister. I love this house though. Oh my god. Is Natsu here? Natsu's gonna be here too. Now I can see why this episode might be called the Hellish Todoroki Family. Tempers might start flaring. Elementary school teacher. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I love how proper Deku is. He's like me going over to friends' houses, you know, first time meeting their parents. Always super polite, super pristine. I'm sure Fuyumi's cooking is fantastic. She seems like a fantastic cook. Fried chicken? This man needs to be a mukbanger. Okay, Deku. <laughs> the taste of the Mapo tofu. Oh, is that some pot stickers? Oh, 
This is what I'm talking about. He's not making anything of it. He's just... I understand, you know. He has to leave before making anything. Yep. Before tensions get too hot. You know, he got... I understand it, but I also understand Endeavor. Trying to make things right, but it only makes Natsu more upset. You know, I get it. It, like I said, I, if anyone's going to know family issues, it's going to be me. It's very difficult. And I can't blame Endeavor. I mean, I can because a lot of this originated with him. But humans make mistakes. You know, that's the whole point of being human. <laughs> He's doing the dishes. That's hilarious. But I can't blame Natsu either. That's family, you know. Let's get his unadulterated, unfiltered opinion. Mm, even though it's from his mom, I get that it was most definitely indirectly because of him. Yeah, she's going on her own journey in terms of reflection, introspection. Good. Good. Yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen again. And I love that transition between mom and Fuyumi. <laughs> Definitely don't interrupt this conversation, Bakugo, but I get him. Don't invite someone over if we're going to make us a super awkward family thing. <laughs> he really likes that Mapo Tofu. Yeah, we know that. Not too overheard that. Everyone overheard that. Man, Endeavor needs a little bit thicker walls. I can't lie. Like I said, I love his house, but these are some thin-ass walls. Who is this on the shrine that we are... This has to be Toya. What happened to Toya? Older br... All right, it looks like we have an after credit scene a few days earlier. This guy looks like a stri is he the striped commando? What's his villain name? The striped menace? Oh, what the hell? A new symbol. Endeavor's Endeavor's debut is number one. Okay, and is he not like that? What the? Who is this dude? What the hell? All right, on to episode eighteen, season five. This one's called The Unforgiven. Let's do this. Several years ago. We now have the villain in several. I gotta put this in my mindset that we're an old Endeavor now. So I gotta deal with old Endeavor. Okay. Oh, this guy who was in the after credits of last episode has seen Endeavor for years. A thief named Takumi, which we just saw. Since that day. Okay, so since that day several years ago when Endeavor caught that thief, you've been his hope. Seven years ago. He wanted to die at Endeavor's hands, and he got... Was last episode's after credit scene him getting out of jail? Oh, he was getting out of jail. That's a quirk booster? Oh, please don't injure Natsu. Please don't injure Natsu. Oh my, The Unforgiven is the title of this episode. Let's, let's hear, finally, about Toya. So Toya died. So we didn't get the, I want to know how. Oh, I need more. <laughs> he loves that tofu. He loves it. He's like the third time he's mentioned it. Endeavor truthfully is appreciative of Fu Fuyumi immensely. Oh, she knows how much, how important Deku is to Shoto's progression. Anyone would be more than happy having Deku as her friend. Deku's one of the best friends ever, I swear. I wonder if he's talking to a girl. Can this man, like, solidify paint? He literally took the paint off the street and it looked like he either kidnapped 
hopefully, or killed Natsu, which I'm not hoping for. Oh my god, Natsu's being thrown at Endeavor. Yes. The, yeah, he literally is pulling the street lines. No hesitation, Endeavor comes busting out. You gotta be careful with how aggressive you come into this. You can't be hurting Natsu. He does remember him vividly. Wow. Ending. Yeah, an arrow like that pointed, even if it's paint, he could kill somebody so easily. He could literally decapitate him. I mean, I won't lie. I'm normally... I'm normally on team hero, don't kill people. We have to set a precedent for that. You know, oh my god, is that... Oh my god. You forgot something. Okay, the driver's on top of it with their outfits. Bust it out. Let's go. <laughs> Look at them. As I was saying earlier, normally I'm on team. Let's not kill the people. Normally, let's you know do whatever we can to avoid death in any aspect. But you have my son with a knife to his neck, head. Oh, bro, I'm murdering you so fast. Oh, are we going to start? He's all the different advice he gave individually to each of them. Are we going to start putting it into work right now? Okay, nice, nice. Condense it. Not when he ha Look at his face. He's so scared. What do you do when you have Natsu as a hostage right in front of you? I'm about to say, Endeavor, we're gonna keep going, right? The kids had to run past him. Store up, release, precise. Oh my god. Okay, Bakugo with the condensed super thrusters, fucking mega jetpack. Good save. Bakugo literally just saved him. Let's go. We got Bakugo with Natsu. We got Deku. We got Deku saving these fucking people. Focus on the black whip exactly when we need to. Grab these cars. See, this is exactly what I'd want to use black whip for. Saving mad people. Spider-Man out here. In one week. <laughs> this is what the <laughs> This is what it's like being under you. You got Bakugo doing that, you got Deku doing that, now we got Todoroki, come on, bro. Not a single person's gonna die. Nice and gentle, nothing happened. Immediate hug. No matter what happens between you guys on a personal note, he still cares about you immensely as a father. I'm telling you, these three, in terms of Bakugo, Deku, and Todoroki, are gonna be some of the best heroes this generation has ever seen when they're adults. People are just trying to honk, get to work. Like, come on, we're having an emotional moment. We just saved lives. You can wait. That's a real man right there. It reminds me of like Walter White from Breaking Bad. You know, it doesn't matter what your family feels about you, even if they hate you and despise you, never will forgive you. You do what you can. All you can to save them, help them, do, you know, that's a real man. It's a real dad. Which is what?
<laughs> I don't think he has a hero name yet, right? Because best genus, best genus was, I want to know it so bad ever since best genus was talking about it. Come on. I want to know it. Tell us. There's someone I'm going to tell first. It has to be best genus. I want to hear it so bad. He's talking about Hawks knowing that the next generation is going to be fucking amazing. As we cut over to Hawks sneezing because we're talking about him. Good call, buddy. That was a great episode. That was a great episode. Holy shit. All right. We got a looks like a big after credit scene this time. Another one. Okay. Okay. Maybe relieve a little bit of the trauma, PTSD. Okay. We're going to build the new house for Fuyu, me, and mom. So they can live happily. That's He's mentioned that like six times throughout this episode. And he's been... I love how he's been thinking about this all the time. Like he said, every night before he goes to sleep. What can I do personally for them? If he truly cares about them, distance himself from them, remove himself from the equation, and then he knows they'll be happy. I don't like that answer. And damn, okay. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic two episodes in terms of development and where we're going with Todoroki as a family's character. Um... Because you have Enji Todoroki, Shoto Todoroki, Natsuo Todoroki, Fuyumi Todoroki, Toya Todoroki, Rei Todoroki. Is her, yeah, they're married, so her last name is Todoroki as well. I'm just curious, man. Such such a good two episodes. I, I love the development. Like I said, Endeavor's easily top three characters in the show for me. Not in terms of like... I mean, he is easily in terms of action and strength and seeing him fight, but just because of his development, you know? Like, in my personal opinion, in terms of TV, and this is just me, you know, you guys could completely disagree, but I think Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender has one of the best character developments in all of TV character and general history. And I think, I'm not saying Endeavor is very similar to him, but I just know that from season two, when I first originally watched this show, I got huge Zuko vibes from the Todoroki family in general, and I'm not just talking about Shoto Scar, even though that is what originally made me think that. I'm just saying, like, uh, Zuko in that show has one of the most complex and frustrating families you can ever, ever think of, and he makes constant mistakes. He does things that are so wrong in terms of trying to garner what he thinks is right, or what he thinks he needs, or what he thinks a family is. And then realizing and that mix with the whole sides of his uncle Iroh, I'm telling you, I get so much of that in this. And I only say that in the best way possible because I consider that the greatest character development in character history. So like this is, you know, it's really, really good. I love seeing Endeavor how much like even though he is right now the number one hero, the strongest person we can physically say that we, you know, we can know. He is in so much pain and he has, you know, he, he, it's crazy. I can't even like, I would need to get like a psychologist and then we can go deep about this for like an hour, but just the, the things he goes through, him thinking about it every night, having the same dream and that dream, him not being there, him realizing what he has personally done to his family and the things he's done, you know, like, I think a great example is, is Natsuo when they were talking about cooking. Fuyumi's been the cook ever since what happened with their house made, but, uh, Natsuo cooks sometimes as well, and, you know, Todor uh, Endeavor would not let Todoroki eat it due to the seasonings and stuff like that because of how strict and stuff Todor er, Endeavor was back in the day, but, you know, he just it's a small thing that he's like, oh, I never realized, you know, what I was doing back then, you know, uh, next time we eat, I want to try your food, you know, obviously that makes Natsuo more mad, Natsuo is very complicated as well, I understand him completely, but I think the one I feel for the most is Fuyumi, because, like, she's like me. She's like, I understand you, Endeavor. I understand you, Shoto. And I understand you, Natsuo, completely. But I just want all of us to be happy. I just want to find a compromise in which we can all work out and be a family. Because that's all she wants. And I feel her completely. It's, it's really rough. It's really rough. But overall, fantastic training. Fantastic episodes. Crazy villain. We saw the booster again. We got to see some great progression of their powers and how fast they were. They're gonna, Like I said, they're going to be some of the best heroes their generation has ever seen, undoubtedly.
So if you guys enjoy this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Check out that Patreon, early access and full length, four episodes ahead. Links are in the description. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.